guys, Frank here. Um, a while back, I wrote a review for the Orion AstroTrack Precision DC Electronic Drive. Now, if you take a look at that picture, and it's got five stars because I'm the one that reviewed it. Um, <clears throat> here's basically what that is. It's a revamp of this, the AccuTrack SVD. And what I wrote in the review was they call it the SVD because it was meant to drive Orion's Skyview Deluxe, which I'm trying to, there you go, Skyview Deluxe EQ. And it just mounts <clears throat> on the right ascension knob. And again, I wrote that down. This is about 15 years old. And I'm just going to, the light comes on and you can hear it and it's turning. Now, it doesn't turn rapidly, it turns slow because it's meant to track different things in the sky, the moon, the sun, the planets, everything rotates at a slightly different speed, so there's a knob on here, which is right there for adjustment, you can see right there, the speed button, and that is meant to be able to adjust it to track different objects. But uh, all in all, <clears throat> I'm showing you here, I just wanted to put this video up because I didn't put anything in the review there for uh, Orion. Um, but this works. And I was testing it last night because I know <clears throat> I mentioned in my review that some of the solder joints uh, came loose. Same thing. And I just had to finagle around. There's two screws here, one here and one here. And you can take this whole box off, <clears throat> the cover off, and it exposes the electronics, which are pretty simple. For anybody who's into that Arduino stuff and everything. Just a simple breadboard with some connections here and there to drive this thing. But uh, all in all, I mean, it's a great, uh, it is a great drive for something. And it'll it'll move a pretty, like I said, I had my 8-inch on there. My 8-inch uh, reflector telescope and it drove it. And right now I got this 5-inch, um, the 5-inch here. And I actually picked this up from a gentleman in Florida. Um, because I was going to use it for a spot, not a spotting scope, but uh, <clears throat> a tracking scope on top of my um, my Mead 10 inch. I got a uh, LX200 Classic, and I was going to use it, but it's too heavy with this in combination with that. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to probably get the short tube uh, 880 and use that on top of there because it's lighter, and I'll use that for a guide scope for tracking and stuff. But again, I'm just making this video just to show you guys that um, this is called the uh, AccuTrack SVD, again, for this, uh, the Skyview Deluxe. And the one they're selling now is the AstroTrack. So it's just revamped. Some things are in different spots, but all in all, it's basically the same thing. It looks like what they did is <laughs> they flipped it upside down. Because if you notice, here's the power button, here's the speed, and there's a screw, here's the on and off, the south, north, and there's another screw. So if you look at it, it's just completely reversed. Instead of the power button being up here, it's down here, so it just looks like they took it and took it, took the board and twisted it and just relabeled it. But all in all, um, it's the same thing. Works really great for any of you guys in astronomy. If you're looking for something cheap, you can get one of their cheaper mounts, um, and you can have this drive it, and you can use it for your astrophotos and all kinds of stuff, or if you're just tracking things. And I'll give you a quick view here if I can. Get in here. Here's the knob. I said it was a knurled knob, and it is, but it's also got a, uh, a screw thread, like a, a flat flathead Phillip, uh, flathead Phillips, a flathead screwdriver on it that you can actually loosen that and tighten that. And it drives the right ascension, and it um, pretty much locks onto the flat part. If you can see here, it locks onto this. I'm trying to get it in here. Now, what you're hearing there? Oh, it's, it's tight because it's cold in here, my house. But all in all, um, if you could see here, I'm going to see if I can get this. If you could see the flat part of these screws here. Yeah, the flat part there, and that's this is the um, the other one here. But um, that's what it locks onto. And right now you hear it clicking. It's either probably because it's not tight enough to loosen up, but it's yeah, it's probably just that it's tight. I got to take this. I haven't had this thing apart in a while. I haven't had it apart at all. So what I probably need to do is take it apart and uh, re-grease it 
But uh, all in all, it works. It's driving the scope, and uh, there's nothing to fear, <clears throat> except the price seems to be a little steep. But uh, all in all, you know, if that's what you're looking for, something simple to drive a um, drive a simple mount for simple um, observing, or if you want to dabble in uh, astrophotography, um, this is the mount to get. You can get this. There's other ones there, but I just wanted to put a video up for this because I didn't get a chance to um, get a video for this. It's, uh, you know, I, I like I like for people to see myself. I like being able to see demonstrations of things before I buy things. So this is a demonstration of it, and you can hear it. I'll turn it off. And there it is, it's turning. And, and that's it, guys. All right? So never fear if you want to buy this thing. Just relabeled, revamped, but does the same thing. And there's also a north-south switch on it, so if you want to use it in the southern hemisphere, you can. And that's how it goes, guys. All right? Thanks for watching. Bye.